Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Isaac today. We start out with Sacred Heart, Fate, Holy Light, Money equals Power. Alright, so it's obviously a um, special run. I don't know what holiday it is today. Well, this is much less obnoxious than a normal, uh, first floor super envy, let me tell ya. Thank you for that holy light shot. Alright, so need tears up. Need shot speed up, preferably. Just so I can hit what the crap I'm shooting at. <sighs> Do that for speed reasons. Don't need that yet. Alright. So that's good damage up. There is a tinted rock. Okay. That holy light hit. Taking, you know, both helped a lot. Uh, range isn't great, but I'm not gonna go to the shop and hope for a friggin' battery. Hopefully I'll be able to reroll the boss room. It'll depend on how many rooms are on the floor. I'll wait on that till the end of the floor, just in case. I do have... Okay, are you a wizard? Contagion's actually really good. Yeah, Contagion is amazing. I'm pretty sure the poison is based on my damage stat. Alright, so these guys... I thought we're going to be one-shottable, you know, with 10 damage. I guess it takes between 10, or, you know, like somewhere between 10 and 10 and a half damage to one-shot them. Because like a normal three shot from, uh, you know, 3.5 does a total of, um, 10 and a half. I think. Yeah, it does. Alright, super secret room. No. Alright. Exactly enough rooms to reroll the devil and or boss items. Oh cool, blowing up the thing counts, and so it poisoned him. And a buttloader. Okay, synth oil's great. Not rerollable at all. Then Gimpy. And ceremonial robes are both really, really good. That's another range up. And I'm still gonna have four heart containers at the end of this floor. Pills, Bob's Curse. I'll probably reroll Bob's Curse. Gulp. I don't think I had a trinket. Health down actually isn't a huge deal. So I'm still gonna have three heart containers. May as well take Dark Prince's crown. Oh, s I was not paying attention to where I was going. <laughs> that was completely unintentional. But yeah, anyway, uh, if I find an you know, a blood bank, dark beggar, or manage to just, you know, trade away more heart containers. The tears up, shot speed up. I don't remember if it gives you speed or range in addition. Is going to make that a million times worth it. I do need bombs and keys, though. Oh. 
Alright, there is a tinted rock there. And I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone, but there is a major thunderstorm going on outside. Hopefully it doesn't mess with my um, power or internet. Sure, I don't have any things yet. Ah, uh, crap. And they survived the fire somehow. Looks like the secret room to the left here. I really want a key. Alright, if I don't get a key, I might go to the secret room and hope there's either more bombs or, you know, a key in here. Nope. Neither. Alright, well, that sucks. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. I've only gotten one key this entire run. I mean... Yeah, but I guess I could have blown this up. Or I guess I could give it money and lose um, a little bit of damage. Okay, there's a bomb. Use it here. Maybe I should have used it on the slot machine. Maybe I would have gotten a key, but I don't know. Well, at least I can re-roll the pony. Okay, pentagram's good. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. No devil room either. money for an arcade, which means I have too much health for Dark Prince's crown or the room there, but I can go to the item room. I would really like an arcade because the blood bank is more damage because it gives me money and more uh, Now it's just insulting me by giving me three keys all at once. Okay, good. Okay. So that probably is the secret room to the left there. Oh, metal plate, yes. Gives me a soul heart and a chance to block. Uh, I think it, this only blocks shots. Conehead will block any damage. Well, all this no bomb, huh? There's a bomb. Should probably use it on that key. Too many places for the super seeker room to be. Another one of those rooms. No tinted rocks that I can find. Yeah, let's blow up that keeper just in case. I really want another devil room. Just being able to trade away for two. Um, being able to trade away two hearts. Just be so good. Just hoping for money. Alright, so thank god a devil room can still spawn in this room. 
I would have been annoyed if it was one of the, like, weird boss rooms that you can't spawn the devil room in. Uh, no devil room. What the crap? That is a luck up, but, okay. The hill gives me more of everything else. Still can't go to the trap room, so. Yeah. Like, the halo gave me damage, tears, and speed, which combined are more useful than luck, I think. Although, if luck influences the number of holy lights I get, that might not be entirely true. But yeah, going from 14 to 12 tears. Not as good as, you know, going down to 10 or something. Okay, there's a bomb. Alright, Wrath will give me something. Hopefully more bombs. I don't really want Mr. Boom. Okay, cool. And a battery for later. More bombs. Nifty. Uh, wonder how much damage you need to one-shot these guys. I'm going to go here before I go to uh, the shop, because if I re-roll it, it gives me more rooms to get another re-roll. Because, like, if I wait to go to the shop and it takes a while to find, it might lose me a re-roll for the, you know, either the boss room or the devil room. Or... Okay, no more are you wizards today. I've already got Magic Mushroom, so I'm not going to get Magic Mushroom out of that. Cool. Another battery. That's useful. Alright, so there's a good room, hopefully. It was. I said hopefully. There's the shop. Uh, okay, sack head is really good. Man, how many friggin' keepers have I blown up without getting any money? Uh, I need three more cents. Ah, there's a boil over here. idea, but I just didn't feel like going back twice. And then, you know, what happens if I get something useless? Useless.
don't have enough money. Hopefully I can get a, uh... That Contagion was a great decision to take. Yeah, sorry. I keep... Like, I don't know if a fly snuck its way inside, because I've had windows open. Because it, like, finally cooled off the last couple of days. So I don't know if a fly got in here. Or if I'm just, like, itchy for some reason. But I keep scratching my head. say if it blows up after one hit I'm gonna be super annoyed and I forgot that I have to have a full heart container for that to be active but yeah the shot speed and tears are both really good the range I can obviously take or leave but taking me from 12 to 8 tears and raising my shot speed enough that you know my shots actually like get where I want them to go Although it does help the Dark Bum will be eating Red Hearts the drop, so I'm not like going through the same room with three Red Hearts in it the way I do a lot of the time and accidentally pick up. That's a weird room. I'm trying to remember if I've seen this before. I... Wow! That was like house shaking thunder. I forgot I was going to look for this. Ace of spades. Ace of... That's kind of weird. Two aces of spades like that. Tank depths too. Not been to the item room. Have not been to the shop. Don't grab those on accident. Take them all dark bomb. So that looks like a super secret room. Nope. We'll go to the shop first. Because I'm not going to be able to leave the boss room to... Actually, I could. So I left a... Uh, whatchamacallit back there. Stars card. Behind. Eh... Uh, care about any of that. I'm not going to use my, actually. Okay, two of spades is good. That could be interesting. I hope I didn't just screw everything up, though. Right, so there's that. Yeah, like, if this is terrible, okay, it doesn't look like it is, but I was going to say, if this is terrible, I am just going to, uh, I don't want either of those. This should be fun, actually. Dude. I fire, like, a big tear that turns into bombs. That, you know, home in on the enemies. That's friggin' awesome. I just gotta try and stay away. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Oh no, I'm down to 1.7 speed. Oh, the tear does damage. And then the bombs finish him off. Okay. It's getting slightly too close. Especially if I actually move in between them and the... Ah, oh, dang it, I picked up a half a heart. 
We have immune to spikes. Duh. Oh, when one of them, when the like main shot is holy light, it does crap loads of damage. and shot speed ups aren't as important now as they were before I got Hemolacria. What's doing damage? Because, like, enemies are acting like they're hitting creep, but I don't have anything that makes creep. just occasionally. Glad I took the risk and took Hemolacria. So I was worried it was going to screw crap up, but it turns out to be amazing. Okay, got the lucky penny. And I'm back to full health. And I'm basically one-shotting anything that doesn't have multiple phases. I'm also gl glad I took uh, Dr. Fetus. That was the other thing that I was worried was going to screw stuff up. Because, like, sometimes, like, if you take piercing shots in Hemolacria, the Hemolacria shots don't explode right. And if you take, uh,. Is there a special kind of exploding shot? I forget. Or, no. If you take uh, Eye of Belial with um, Hemolacria, the shot passes through the enemy if it hits an enemy, but then it doesn't, like... I was far enough away that shouldn't hit. Like, it doesn't explode because it turns into an Eye of Belial shot as it goes through. And then it just, uh... Like... Because of the arc, you know, the angle it goes at, it just doesn't hit anything. You know, because normally Eye of Belial you know, travels through the enemy, then homes in on the enemy behind it. Because of the arc, it just doesn't um, go through. Or, it goes through, but then it doesn't go anywhere else, because it'll hit the ground before the arc ends. Okay. Oh. Okay, weird shaped floor. That's not the super secret room. Oh, that blew up all of them in one shot. That's kind of cool. Okay. One of those rooms that can be kind of annoying. If you're... Okay, don't just walk into... That was weird. They all bounced off to the same direction. That was the bad direction. Okay. Hit that. I hope for half a heart from one of them. Maybe 
don't get half a heart in here. Yes, okay. Oh, that's a super tinted rock or whatever you want to call it. Alright, don't want duality. Because odds are I'm not getting a devil room next floor anyway. Take the paw. There are no batteries. Dang it. Take the lock up. That. Alright. I was hoping I could go back and re-roll it again. Maybe get another thing. commenting so high. Hey, welcome. Hope I didn't miss your comment by very long. I thought I looked over there just a second ago. Although there is enough of a delay between you typing something and then like the video catching up to where I respond that some un impatient people actually do leave before they see it, even if I see it right when it pops up. Okay, I thought that was going to be too close. What is yeet, by the way? I hear it occasionally. There we go. No lucky pennies. Kill the keeper. Dang it. Yeah, this build is really good for bosses. Significantly less good for um, normal rooms. I mean, you see it, I'm one shotting every boss. But I keep getting hit on rooms when I have to fire multiple times and have to worry about my bombs. Okay, good. Dodge that. Kill that. There we go. And there's a battery. Alright. So I can't quite direct damage them to death, but a single submunition does it. Okay, those were not close enough to me. Hierophant, High Priestess, Emperor. That's just Emperor to save myself the heart. Really? Okay, I survived. No Devil Room. Dang it. somewhere. Mostly looking for the super secret room, but there's not been... any good places yet. Alright, so down there... yeah. Alright, maybe one of these will be a Devil Room Teleport. Don't want health up. I 
I don't want mom's knife either, because that's just going to ruin all of this, basically. May as well take the gulp. Uh, hopefully there's a... Um, watch my collar for sale down here. Battery. There is no battery for sale. So, okay, I can get money, I guess. So may as well buy that, because I'm going to be getting money. Ace of Hearts is not something I care about. Definitely don't care about Abel. That was a lucky penny. Uh, okay, that turns heart containers into bone hearts. This might do a little bit of damage at some point. Euthanasia. I don't know how it interacts. But it might. Like, if it interacts the way it really should, it's going to be amazing. Because, like, if I happen to fire a euthanasia infused shot... Whoa. I wasn't holding the fire button there for a second. I got really confused. Still got decent health. Hey. Oh, I'm a freaking. Oh, I was thinking uh, holy mantle rather than like what I actually have to protect myself. So I was thinking, oh, I'll use holy mantle then leave during the mercy invincibility. That's not how that works at all. Oh, what the crap? Oh, that's what happens when euthanasia goes off. Oh, that's actually awful. If I manage to euthanize a non-boss, because euthanasia doesn't work on bosses. Like, if I fire a euthanasia-infused shot on a non-boss enemy, I'm going to just be completely screwed. I don't actually have a trinket, so I may as well take that, even if it's not going to do anything. Really. This looks like the right way, so let's backtrack before I have to backtrack far. Okay, good. The way they scatter is strange. Okay, range down is a huge deal. Come to here. Murder him. 
murder him. This would gulp that, right? Hangman's useless, unfortunately. Open up the sticky nickel. Alright. There was just too much going on there. How did that one decide, like, did they decide to home in on me once in a while? Just to, like, be obnoxious. Okay, that one was just me dodging really, really badly. But at least Gimpy worked on it. Like, they seem to bounce strangely sometimes. There we go. Another sacrifice room. Has there been a sacrifice room on every single floor so far? Okay, that could be useful. I'm not gonna use it until I know I need at least two heart containers, though. Or two soul hearts. I'm not gonna need temperance, because it doesn't even guarantee an item next floor the way a, uh, whoa, okay. Yeah, that was euthanasia. Okay, hematemesis is useful. Because it doesn't screw up um, Dark Prince's crown. <sighs> and it does uh, Screw up Dark Prince's crown, and it does, uh. Give me fodder for Dark Bum. Okay, I'm only down one heart. Down zero hearts. Too bad I didn't get any, uh. Health up is... It's not crippling, thankfully. What makes the occasional random fart noise? Like, it's happened against several enemies that don't, you know, normally have a, you know, fart noise associated with them. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally pick up any of these. Uh, any of the hearts. With five luck, I would have expected at least one chest by now. Zelda, you can use bombs or, you know, the shovel or whatever, usually. Alright, found a secret room. Okay, so I get occasional stun shots as well, looks like. Pennies and an item, cool. The problem with and the BBF and the reason I didn't wind up taking it, even though I take it a lot because I like the item, is because 
my bombs are going to knock it around and you know make it bounce off walls and stuff and it'll change where it's flying so I'm much more likely to get hit by it than I normally am. I guess I may as well take this. I don't know why I avoided it before. I don't know if that's a, it is a ghost. No, thank you. Still not entirely sure what that item does. Okay. Battery's good, though. This is going to be ridiculous. I don't know if hilarious is going to be the right word, but it should be interesting. No, I don't want health. Like, I'm at max, and I don't want another heart container, especially since it'll be a full heart container. Okay, at least the small ones have smaller blasts. Place. You know, not terrible with a 10,000 damage penalty. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys tomorrow.